India, micro, small and medium enterprises manufacture over 6,000 products. In fact, after agriculture, these enterprises provide the maximum opportunities for employment. However, this sector often faces the challenges of lack of finance, low R&D, and non-availability of skilled labor. On this series, we showcase companies that are overcoming these challenges and are continuing to grow no matter what. Welcome to Leaders of Tomorrow. On the show today, a Delhi-based first-generation hydraulic machinery manufacturer who has been beating the streets for more than a decade. We'll also travel to Pune to visit a company that is providing water treatment solutions to clients across the globe. And the story of a company that has built India quite literally by producing precision construction equipment for the last 30 years. Our first story today is of an 11 year old company from Delhi that has created a name for itself in the engineering and machinery sector. Santec Exim is one of India's leading manufacturers of hydraulic machinery and also has a strong export arm. The company was started by first generation entrepreneur UK Sangan who has made innovation and quality his mantra. Here's the story. industrial areas that hem the capital of India, Santec Exim stands tall as one of the few successful first-generation companies. Established in 1999 by UK Sangal, Santec has come to epitomize the true grit of the Indian economy. A will to be successful despite all odds. Obstacles are something that this hydraulic machinery manufacturer faces on a day-to-day -day basis. And it has made a habit of coming out trying to. It's been very uh, difficult from uh, where we started. Uh, perhaps a few be surprised. It started with an amount of 10,000 rupees, which is seen as, you know, today. And with this one person initially, and I came in later. Mr. Sangal had uh, put in a lot of... Uh, you know, it's like his first baby, you can say. And uh, maybe not now, but initially he has spent nights, you know, working the machines to be delivered on time and uh, it's like little husband wife fight, you know, start uh, an office type of thing. But the pain that he had put in, so in 10 years now, we are exporting 35 countries, which is like, uh, if he's very proud about it. And uh, so the initial, uh, you know, the sacrifices that he had done and made up to mandatory, they have uh, come up with nine dollars, basically. And the taste of success is all the more sweeter after the innumerable days and nights of labor, the proverbial burning of the midnight oil. UK Sangal and his wife Richa Sangal define customer satisfaction as their company's primary business. And their unshakable belief in the importance of post sale customer relationships has paid rich dividends. The company recorded revenues of 10 crore rupees in the last financial year, which was despite the global meltdown. And expectations are high for the coming year, with revenues expected to jump to 18 crore rupees. When we began the company, uh, we did have those uh, you know, high spirits, you can say. And although it's a start with very few people, but the people were very efficient, and a lot of hard work was being put in without compromising on quality, on you know, customer satisfaction. Come what may, customer satisfaction was the best thing that was to be done. So to some extent, yes, uh, spirits were high that we will reach a level. And uh, yes, by God's grace, we put in the effort and he's been kind enough to bless us with where we are today. This focus on unmatched quality saw Santec emerge, ironically, as a supplier of choice for international companies initially. Major foreign conglomerates such as Toshiba, Psycho Electronics, and Siemens came calling much before national behemoths such as Tata Motors, MRF, and SR Tata, and took notice and finally recognized the true metal of this relatively small company. We needed some special machines. For that, we, you know, after doing very survey of the market, we found, you know, that uh, Centec, owned by Mr. New K. Sangal, uh, is a good company in having good facilities and uh, to make a special purpose machines. And we placed order on the first version. And he delivered the goods to our parts, to our wishes, to our requirements. 
we made products and we could get good market for those products which we made out of these machines. And it worked once pretty well. Uh, well, initially, uh, Santec, you know, as I said from the beginning, has been emphasizing on quality. So we slightly, uh, you know, bend it towards the international market. And uh, initially, we were exporting 70%, which is the Indian customer was not. Um, you can say aware of what Santec stands for. So now people do understand that Santec is, um, you know, it's not only giving you a good quality machine, it's giving you some latest technologies which perhaps a company running from decades would not bother to bring about that technology because they are fine with it. And it is this continuous mix of quality, innovation, and focus on international standards that continuously drives Santec forward. Add to that a constantly evolving growth strategy. A strategy that has not hesitated to focus on the rapidly booming domestic market in times of a global recession, putting Santec firmly in place to continue on its path of incessant growth. That made us force to survive the survival of the fittest, we have to target to the Indian market. But somehow it is very easy for us to make a mark with the Sanchez, was known internationally and the Indian customer was also now being eight, nine years, they were familiar, you know, what Santec stands for. And when the Indian customer got the opportunity to buy a Santec machine, they definitely supported us. So our export percentage definitely did come down, but we created an uh, faced in the Indian market. So the Indian market for us grew. So that was the strength that we survived through recession. But then, you know, it, it's coming up with flying colors that now uh, things are getting better abroad. And we have stepped, uh, have, uh, have a good place in the Indian market. So now we hope to, you know, get the best of the both worlds, maybe. A company which wholeheartedly believes in the concept of survival of the fittest is leaving no stone unturned to become the most robust and innovative supplier in the sector. And if the right philosophy is being put into practice by its management team, it won't be long before this 11-year-old company earns its rightful place amongst the big guns. So that was Santec Exim, well on its way to joining the big league of heavy metals. Time to slip into a quick break now, but on the other side, we'll